Wanna go bed? Wanna go night night? Come on, let's go to bed. Come on, let's go to bed. Wanna go to bed? Come on. Well, we have had just cold, miserable, cloudy weather, a lot of rain. So my battery isn't doing very well at all. I'm not getting, I mean, it, I, it hasn't floated in days, but I found a new way to use the Blue Eddy AC 500 plus 300S. Instead of leaving it plugged in all the time, what I could do is just plug it in to charge my batteries. So I'm just plugging it in for like two hours and it takes 15% and my batteries are getting not fully charged, but they're getting charged enough that I can use them. And that's what I'm going to do right now. This is where my battery is at really low. Five o'clock. I haven't even had anything plugged in. I've been using my little Blue Eddy. <laughs> got blue, I got a lot of Blue Eddies going on. So I'm using the little portable one, the one that I'm going to carry with me all the time in my travels. Right now I'm just testing out the big one because I want to see what it does. And as long as I'm in one spot for a little while, like I am here, then it's really nice to be able to put the tarp up outside and put it underneath the tarp. But I'm going to go, I'm down to 34% on the Blue Eddy because I've been using it outside. It was 100% when I got here. And I've been using it a lot. And uh, so I'm going to plug in the whole RV in just for a couple hours because I'm running the heat. I'm running all kinds of things. I'm running my furnace. <clears throat> Look at this weather. Ew. And thank you so much to Blue Eddy for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited to be bringing Blue Eddy products to you. All right. And I've been testing this out because I have plans to use this when I have a homestead someday to run my homestead. And the nice thing about it is it's 5,000 watts of power and 10,000 watts of surge power. I could even run my air conditioning on it. So imagine what you can do as a home battery backup. There we go. So the first time I <laughs> used the Blue Eddy to plug in my RV, I left it plugged in for six, seven, eight hours. I can't remember what it was. It was a long time. And now I realize I don't need to do that because it actually charges my batteries better than my generator does. So I can't use my generator to charge the Blue Eddy, so it's not a very powerful generator. You can even expand it up to 18,000 watt hours. And with the Life PO4 battery, you can get 3,500 life cycles up to 80%, which means if you're gonna be using it part time, you're probably gonna get at least 10 years out of it. But even if I wasn't living in an RV and thinking about a homestead, if I lived in a stick, sticks and bricks these days, I would have a backup power source because just the world is getting too crazy with climate change and everything and power outages. And I think it's really important for everybody to have a backup power source. And this is a, a great one because you can run your entire house on it. If you already have solar, you can literally plug your entire house into this system and run everything. Alright, unfortunately my generator is too small to charge the Blue Eddy. It's only a 1600 watt and it's pulling 1700 which means it's overloaded. 
So you're going to need a bigger generator if you are going to be relying on that for charging your Blue Eddy. If you're living in an RV and your onboard generator works, that's going to be more than enough because your onboard generators can run even your air conditioning. So your onboard generator is going to be big enough to charge the Blue Eddy, but since mine doesn't work, I rely on the small Energizer 1600 watts, which doesn't run much for me. It barely runs my microwave, and that's why I'm excited to be relying on the Blue Eddy AC 500 plus plus B300S. I'm just going to have to stick with solar, but the Blue Eddy charges does a good job. Watch. Let's go look. What are you doing? I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, cutie pie? All right. So the battery's charging. There we are. Battery's charging. So I'll leave it plugged in for a couple hours. I'll run the heat like crazy and heat it up in here and hopefully not use more than like 15% of the Blue Eddy's power tonight because I got a couple more days that I want to be here and I've really been relying on it. Can I tell you, this part of the country, it is hard. I never have this problem. I mean, every other, uh, every once in a while you have this problem in the Southwest because you have sun, more sun. You don't have the clouds rain constantly like you do here and even when I do get a little sun I have all this tree coverage luckily though I've been bouncing around staying in driveways so I can plug it in and get a full charge in less than an hour and the thing is you don't have to have shore power to charge the Blue Eddy there are six ways to charge the Blue Eddy AC 500 B300S you can plug it in you can use solar you can charge it on your car cigarette lighter a generator. You can even charge it on a lead acid battery. So your engine battery or probably even your house battery. It comes with clips for that. And you can dual charge it using AC and solar for extra super fast charging. So you got a lot of options for keeping this charged. Awesome. I've only used 8% in, what is that? 80 minutes, 8% in 80 minutes with my entire RV plugged in, charging my battery. I ran my hood fan. I ran my furnace. So I have plenty left to get me through a couple more cloudy days and rainy nights. <laughs> my battery's doing really good. It's up to 13.1. It never goes that high in the generator. It's uh, dinner time. I'm having chili and cornbread, homemade, vegan, gluten-free. And I think then the Blue Eddy's down to 26%, so I think I'll let it run a little bit longer and then uh, turn it off to save some for the next two nights. All right, I decided to turn it off. Turn. I decided to turn the Blue Eddy off before I have dinner. And the app allows me to turn the AC off from inside, but not the whole thing. So the green light still stays on. And, um, and that takes a little bit of power. So you can't see me, it's dark. <laughs> All right, where are we at? I'm going to check the battery on the inside. So 25% at 7 o'clock on the dot. <laughs> All right, shutting her down for the night. Okay, we're in good shape for the night. That's really good. Luetti does an amazing job of 
of charging my battery. I love that. So then I can get through the night with, with that. I don't have to turn the Blue Eddie back on. Your nose is dirty. Your nose is dirty. Brr. This year, this time of year, it gets like a cave in here. You know, I've got everything blocked off for insulation. But, uh, you know, I'm really excited that I'm able to bring you products that I think that will make your life better, more enjoyable, safer, or just for fun. So if you want to check out the Blue Eddy AC500 plus B300S for your sticks and bricks life, go ahead and check the link in the video description below. And like I said, I think everybody should probably have a backup power station. And if you need something that's going to be reliable, something that's going to charge super fast that you can keep on hand to run your entire life, then uh, this system is the system for you. I'm I'm actually looking forward to using it someday in my homestead. And thank you, Blue, Blue Eddie, very much for sponsoring today's video. All right. I think we're going to turn in. Hopefully tomorrow will be nicer. We can go for a walk or something. Is it bedtime? We'll go to sleep. Come on, let's go to sleep. Is it morning? Is it morning? Is it morning? Does that mean it's time to get cuddles and cuddles and cuddles? Does that mean it's time for cuddles and cuddles and cuddles?
Thank you.